Tim Elmer with Sightline Strategies. So, real set, real rifle, just doing some dry fire here. I'm not a big believer in doing your workouts along with your live fire, or even sometimes with your dry fire. However, we all have the same amount of time during the day. However, how do you use that time? If you know me, I'm all about efficiency, and it's not necessarily about efficiency with the gun. Whew, it's kind of hard to talk after that. What I like to do with my heavier sets and things like where I'm gonna use a longer rest period in between my sets is grab my carbine and do a little bit of dry fire. What I'll do is low ready, high ready, target transitions, you name it, I can do it. So what I'll often do is do it just long enough to let my heart rate decrease. I'm not trying to necessarily get better, so to speak, with carbine, as in par times or being aggressive or anything like that. What I really try to work on is doing things correctly, seeing what I need to see, so to speak, stopping the dot where it needs to stop, something like that. I'm not worried about par times, I'm just worried about getting good repetitions in with something. Sometimes I will grab the handgun and work on trigger control or some basic drills like that without putting on the belt or anything like that. I do that very specifically because we all have jobs, bills to pay, families to see, honeydew list to do, you name it. So while you're doing your workout, go ahead and get your rifle or your dry fire work in if you can, especially if you know, you know you're simply not going to get in a dedicated dry fire session. In my opinion, it's way better to get a workout session in than a dry fire session in. So if possible, get both in. Now, that is for me, home gym. I know that you can't go to your public gym and bust out a carbine. People may not like that depending on where you're at. So what I would do is if I was at a commercial gym, which I used to be, is do something like a basic vision drill. I'll put my finger up, look at another target, bring my thumb over, something like that. Just something to get my eyes moving. I can That way I can do both things at once. I'm not gonna be doing anything anyway, except letting my heart rate come down and or thinking about my next exercise or my next set. And that way it also helps me keep on task because I stay in that focus mode of being productive. And I'll sit down on a bench somewhere, grab my phone, get on Instagram, things like that. And the next thing I know, I've wasted 10 minutes without even thinking about it. So be more efficient, be more productive. I hope this helps. Please hit me with a like, subscribe, share it. Just some quick basic knowledge for you guys. I hope you continue. Let me know what you do to increase your efficiency with multiple things. Dry fire, working out, hitting your garden, whatever. Let me know what you do. Hope this helps. Hold your line. See you next time.